should be a little bit better. Um, I'll put it to about there, that should do. do this in chronological order so I'm gonna start with the bonus episode I think maybe yes no yeah Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I'd better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and Chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over. chance to say goodbye but how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her you don't in fact you do I better help Chloe with her cleaning while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE though. Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. 
It's like my own private gallery. Cool. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? What the hell is going on with our eyes? You haven't touched these since the fifth great talent show. Maybe because what my the assistant fuck? turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. Okay. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Apparently not. dad's camera doing in here dad said i could bring it up here for you to use he's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it his fort your dad is the best sure just don't ever tell him that we need to keep him on his toes <laughs> you're off to a great start actually it's kind of cool. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe seems upset about something. But I don't want to pry. Maybe I'll get it out of her later. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. That was awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? You better not be thinking. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. I'm not done. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty glowy bear. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. What the hell is going on with her eyes? 
Tense BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory oh, at such a young age. I guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. <laughs> That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I... Sorry about that. <coughs> it's in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> A vast future wayfarer. We have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long oh Max Silver. <laughs> you were such so, You're in search of buried treasure, are you? Well, <laughs> treasure ye seek. In mine eyes, spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project? Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure ye seek, ye come to the right place. Forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, this makes me really uncomfortable. How the, the fucking eyes keep going with. I'm just, I'm just gonna guess that it's a bug. Forewarned. Uh, again, only those <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And uh why? <laughs> Dude, that was so dorky. What were we thinking? I thought we were lovable. <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Oh, God. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map.
This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. Where could it be? Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, Judy. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. Oh, I try. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? We made the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, aka the attic. Ugh. Why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. You think it's still there? Should be. As long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay. Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. <coughs> there it is, the dark cavern. Crap, I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. Obviously not a toolbox. Oh. <sighs> Almost there. I just need a few more inches.
I think that should be tall enough. There's a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. I think I can squeeze through now. Just climb over the stuff. I would. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Big and burly. This thing is empty. Got the animation and stuff so, so fucking broken. Yes. Oh, fuck. I wish I could remember how it works. Chloe Price, my best friend. That's right. Leave. Are you just watching me up there, Draper? You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend. That's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. <laughs> get your ass down here yeah, I found it. <laughs> On my way. How the fuck could she hear if the window was closed? Dude, you did it! No big deal. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. 
Hey, Chloe. Yar. Walk the plank. Perfect. Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot, er, peg, on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Grrrr! One amulet. Coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes... <sighs> Damn it. I forget how to make this... Stay on. Stay here. I'll find something to hold it on. <sighs> Thanks, Max. Time to stick the amulet to the telescope. Then that treasure is ours. Uh, we need, like, Dr. Ernest to hold up. Score! One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. Avast, matey. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were gonna be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait. How am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with... something? Here goes nothing. Okay. This drawing is supposed to line up with something. Okay, 
Take a step left. No, wrong way. You said left. Your other left. Go the other way. The other way to my other left? Just go that way. Perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. Is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. Friendship, love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. <laughs> Har. Uh. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. To Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you are so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine. about mine what did I write this is so Chloe
They were really funny. Mine was so serious. Well, yeah, that you. Serious and genuine. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Just dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. All these memories. I want to look at if this container looks like it could last a hundred years. Hmm. This looks like the punchline to something. Where's the rest? These are awesome. Chloe's always been good at making up cool things to do. <coughs> a time capsule was such a good idea. <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. It's so hard to predict the future. Maybe it's better to enjoy the present instead. It actually might be really... Is writing once a week too often? Will I run out of things to say? Recording things was so much fun in third grade. It's good to see you, old friend. I'm off to everything now. Keep messing up my picture. There are no manga might be the one thing where Chloe out nerds me. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. No peeking at my work. I wasn't. Get out of here. Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago, but I still feel bad about it. Hey, what if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. Well, nothing's popping up. Chloe's grandparents live in Idaho now. I guess compared to that, Seattle's not so far. These used to make great pirate swords. Goodbye, Vase. Soon you won't have to worry about me knocking you over anymore. This is probably the last thing Chloe's mom wants. Much better. Mm -hmm. I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little nostalgic. There. Now you've got something pretty to look at. Should I sit with her? You're such a space hog. <laughs> I don't even need to do a lot. Nope. Oh, maybe I didn't.
guess I should try talking to Chloe again about my news. I I can do that after I finish looking at everything. I have looked at everything though. I don't understand. It actually is writing once a week too often. Well, I run out of. <laughs> Most of these are pretty far. These are. Yeah, I've read all these. Hmm. This looks like the punchline of something. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. You sure were troublesome to find. That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking about this. Yes? Pose for a photo with that? Okay, tip your head back and put your arms out. And a really big smile. Uh, like this? <laughs> it's perfect. Stop moving. Really cute, Chloe. You're not so bad yourself. Talk to Chloe. I'm trying to, but she's fucking pie mill. Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Beautiful. Check it out. This is so silly. This jawbreaker is going to last forever? Just like our friendship. Oh, Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Machinist alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once her parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She didn't seem to want to talk about anything serious upstairs. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Chloe? Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um, my family's moving to Seattle. Really. Hey. In three days, right? What? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess Mom and Dad were trying to keep quiet, too. But they're bad at hiding anything. Don't look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. Why did you pretend like you didn't know? I don't know. I, I guess... I guess I didn't want it to be true. Like, why ruin the little time we have left? I was thinking that too. Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so I just left it alone, you know? Come on. I want to spend every minute we have together. 
Having fun. We'll keep in touch.
do that. There isn't any collectibles here. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! It's Mom old. would kill me if she knew I was out here. No trespassing? No way. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. I'll not, um... I'll not take too long going through these episodes. Like, I won't be thorough with this. It's just story-based, really. And... Collectibles. Now, what to draw? Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. Okay. I understand. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Help you miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here? You got it. Again? What do you want, kid? I'm about to argue with you. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Oh, isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute, but I still don't know you. Kittens riding tiny mopeds are cute. I'm more like Red Sonia riding a Panzer tank. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid. 
Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Is your boss your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You're... You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. <sighs> this is intense. <laughs> Shit. Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. <coughs> Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Here we go. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care, either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Hey. Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm trying to see this damn band. But this place is crazy packed. Hard to get to the stage. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? God, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon who? This is his place. He's a friend of mine. I'll see you later. Whatever.
Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up again. 20 bucks, baby. 20 bucks? That's robbery. And don't call me baby. Fine, 20 bucks, thief. That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly to Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! Thanks for playing, Dick. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. That's like 200 bucks. Holy shit! I'm rich! Time to go buy some weed. She returns. Wait, hold on. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. Real helpful, Frank. I mean... Above's rotted... All to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey! What are you waving around this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So, where's my pot? No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. I'll beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. I'll see you later. Whatever. My beer, bitch. 
You should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. <laughs> We're not done. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Rachel? Come on! Hurry up! Let me go, Frank! Not gonna happen! Calm down! Come on, man! Walk away! Screw this! Bullshit. Get the fuck out of here! Sometimes, all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Daily rituals are important. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes, that girl, was that really Rachel Amber? You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, 
They were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Bonus outfits, classic Chloe. Best outfit. Perfect. Can't leave without my vitamins. Should get go. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? This sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. You might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. <coughs> you wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. 
And just before I serve them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. <coughs> Here they are. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. 
repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. Oh shit! I forgot to do collectibles. Fuck! I missed one. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Got it. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right.
Fine. Whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Shimapel don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? You can't threaten me. You know how I know? Because you just tried, and fuck you. I can crap bigger than you. Just remember that. Then I hope you're a better plumber than you are a mechanic. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. Leave Mom out of this. This is about you and me and you being an asshole. I was in the army. You will respect me. I don't remember enlisting. So don't treat me like your newest recruit. Look, now, in this house, I have my job to do, and so do you. If your job is to fuck up my life, then someone should give you a raise. And the corner fucking office. If you were a man, it's I'd... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. I don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. Country music? <laughs> Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does. Your quad. I guess mom left her purse back here. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Picking up my lover from the grocery store the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Shit. 
shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. Right, sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right, see you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Wells. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just, like, a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, 
but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours! Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. <laughs> you're such a loser. Wanna take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Leave. Now. You're actually standing up for Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. You think this is funny? You, you think I'm joking here? If you were going to throw down, you would have already. This clown show is over. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. <laughs> no problem, Skip. Oh, good. 
You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. <clears throat> this is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow, a romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like... <coughs> Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. R.A. will suck as Prospera. If V.C. had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. Oh, this is not classed as a collector. What to it's say? Just you what can to say? In. Slut shaming is so 2009. VC should know. The collectible is in here, I believe. This poster. Save my life. Get some ink. Uh, 
Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night <coughs> was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firelock live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> you sure you don't want to just grab the bus or? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. <clears throat> Things heavier than it looks. I guess I should sit down. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Cheers for following. Human is another word for monster.
All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. <laughs> it sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. You hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? No. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. <laughs> Let's do something fun. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Too far. Well, Shit. I don't know. Uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play two truths and a lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right, and then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. Oh, so, okay. ambidextrous. Oh, lie. Born in New York and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the I this game fucking way too many times to forget this. Um, I'm torn between Leo and New York. Gonna be wrong. You seem more like a Cali girl than me. Damn, Price, not bad. Hell yeah. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. <clears throat> Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? 
or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? <coughs> Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. You've passed by my locker? Stalker much? Hey, I notice things. I can't help it. I guess you're no stranger to being noticed, too. It's kind of new for me. Well, get used to it. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up what a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is That's not exactly true. renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. What is going on? Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen? It's not funny. 
fucking hate these scenes. I'm just gonna back out of it the minute it's prompting me anyway. bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Where the fuck is her? Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty oh, handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. <coughs> Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy.
good. Stop sextanting the interns. There's something I can pick up, I believe. Somewhere. I've always said the Prescott family has a couple screws loose. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Oh, can I have a look? Oh, I think I need to ask her for a nail file. Somewhere. Totally gonna get you that quarter. Love the confidence. Would love a quarter even more. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use. <coughs> uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Press got power, activate. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God! You just have the best ideas. They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow, you made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. Think this guy's married to a nutritionist? He's all like, I'm not allowed to eat this stuff at home. So... 
I love grease. How can something that tastes so good be so wrong? Oh, dropped a fry on my suit. Now I'll have to burn it. Good thing I have a giant squirrel costume in the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Why do we always hold hands like this? Didn't you tell me you were ambidextrous? No, I didn't. I said I was ambisexual. Oh, so you can have sex with both of your hands? Exactly. Want to see? Only if you let go of my hat first. <laughs> <laughs> Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? No matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> this is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead. No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. What, what do we do? Should we check her pulse? Didn't you used to be a lifeguard? Give her CBR! Thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Uh, I, I already called 911. They, they should have an ambulance here any moment. In the meantime, they said to keep close watch on her. Like, turn all the way around and really focus. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. 
This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life from the bottom of my heart thank you yeah good work everyone peace out that was incredible you're a hero huh i guess i am here you earned this. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that all right with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. N no. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! <laughs> oh. Uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that.
Score. Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great, I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? I mean, fuck, are you actually going to make me say it? Say what exactly? You know, like a friendship, but more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on. Say something. Chloe, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But... I can't. I can't. Even though I want to. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair. But it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Fuck this place. I've never understood your hard-on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. She didn't, she didn't have a choice. The fuck? You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. 
If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Why are you crying, sweetheart? <coughs> because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. Hey, where's my marker? Oh, there it is. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. Anyway, yeah, she didn't move. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Did 
Dad used to hate it when I rode on ship. I guess I did that? Sometimes people need you though. Shit, I never saw that one playing this game. Holy fuck. That's pretty fucking cool. Even when they don't admit it. is quiet. You came. I'm glad. Are you sure about that? I got kind of a different message this afternoon. Yeah. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman the ones who were making out that was my dad oh all right and that woman was definitely not my mom oh the worst part is <laughs> I'm not surprised I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while I just I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. 
and I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Don't... Don't worry about it. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome and you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too and i treated you like shit courage i don't know if i'd call it that more like blind desperation and maybe a slight buzz from that wine i just want you to know i'm lucky that you were with me today You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags, I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you.
Come on. Happened to his eyes. Self-help. So I need to go back to the bedroom, get this plug to up, and then I'm gonna end it. Oh god. I wish I could skip this bit. Oh I can. Hell yeah. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go. Hey Max. Hey Dad. Another day daily rituals are important. Smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Words of wisdom don't fail me now. Everything's worth a shot. Collectibles for that one. Cool. Awesome. 